<laughs> yeah. Showing up to talk about it. Yeah, you can't only can't only talk about it. You have to substantiate it. That's hardware, and that's the grand old debate of uh, like materialism versus uh, what's that? Materialist Materialist versus, versus idealist. That's yeah. kind of like in philosophical terms. It's called idealism versus materialism. Idealist thinks you can. There's not a the, the more important thing that determines reality is is the ether, <laughs> the ideas and and spiritual things. Materialists think that you can control reality more by controlling its physical property form yeah <laughs> and that debate is still like, I don't think there's any consensus in the world about that still I I'm being very plain I'm saying it's material materials because I can't begin to meditate if I if I don't have a home and things like that if I have to work all every day t for a living and I get tired from that um, mm. I come from Poland so for me uh, the materialist thing is obvious like we did we were deprived of material resource like we had to wait in line for food and all that during the communist time of uh, basically the solidarity thing and and the Iron Curtain uh, food was rationed and that that was it's like man we don't even have food you gotta wait in line and waste your time for that uh, right. clearly you gotta you gotta address that before you evolve anywhere and then coming to America the materialist part was more easy and uh, but then again, people here are not that fulfilled personally because that becomes the main focus, even though yeah. you are already materially, you know, sustained. So you got to have both. But if you talk about a rollout strategically in enterprise, I think the rollout based on material properties is much easier than spiritual properties. Meaning, like, you can't say let's let's wish this to existence. We have to have the hard hard skills and the techniques to get there. And I think that's where the hippies failed, maybe. Uh, they went into the woods with their polyethylene and pocket knives and thought that would be enough, but it wasn't. But so they all moved back to the city. Oh, right. <laughs> Still missing some of the, the other aspects. Like you may have gone out there, you have gone out there with the idea, but then you're lacking the due diligence research, the, the knowledge to execute some of these other things. You have to create a real economy. That's the thing that was missing. A real economy was never created in that movement. Um, because that boils down to industrial productivity on a small scale. I said it in my TED talk. Those words are still true. And I found that industrial productivity can be achieved on a small scale. That's a big discovery. That's that's huge. I mean, it, yeah, you already yeah, you already have it. Yeah, and uh, I think a lot of people don't don't know the feasibility of that. Our project is valuable in, ter in terms of it actually showed that yeah, it is. We can do that. It's not a problem. It's about access to the actual no knowledge and then the physical tools with right. which you can do it easily. Yeah. Um, so we're ready. We're ready for abundance. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Uh, I'm going to upload the video, so in the morning we talked about the, the design of the printer a little bit and what some of the challenges are. That's that's for review for anybody who's who missed it. That's I think we, we kind of covered a lot of stuff in the morning, just kind of like the general framework for this, and now we're starting to get into the details. So I think it's going, it's going pretty cool. Mm-hmm.